one of the most important things when owning dogs, period, is cleanliness, sanitizing, disinfecting. You wanna keep different viruses away from your dogs so that then it keeps them healthy, prevents dogs from getting sick, prevent dogs from dying. I'm gonna go over today some disinfecting tips and tricks, some things you may wanna consider when it comes to keeping your dogs healthy and their pens and kennels clean. Stay tuned, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this episode of Breeders Hacks. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So today, like I was saying, disinfecting and sanitizing your, your dogs, the areas wherever you keep them, so on and so forth. It's a battle that not just every breeder deals with, but every dog owner deals with, whether they know it or not. And I've seen viruses do detrimental things to dogs. I mean, Parvo can completely wipe out litters of puppies, can kill dogs. I've seen canine herpes virus make dogs completely sterile so where they can't be bred they can't reproduce so there's different viruses and pathogens that if you don't treat accordingly disinfect and sanitize accordingly um, it's stuff that can wipe out an entire yard or you know kill your dog so with that being said I wanted to go over some stuff that was sent to me that I'm really excited about that it's actually you know perfect for an episode like this when it comes to disinfecting and sanitizing your yard you want to use something that's gonna kill I mean I'm talking about as many viruses as possible I know a lot of people use bleach but bleach is super bad especially if you're like cleaning a dog's area you know every day or whatever the case it may be I mean it's really something you don't want to be breathing in so what we've been using is everyone knows that I've done videos on like Wizzy Wash and stuff like that and I like that for my bigger stuff but when we got this kit from Clean Guard, I gotta say it kind of changed my perspective on things a little bit. It kills parvo, it kills herpes virus, it kills distemper, it kills kennel cough. Um, the list goes on. I'll put the list somewhere here so you can actually see like it kills a ton of stuff and then like that's just for dogs. Then they have a whole list of like it kills staff and don't quote me on it, I think it may even kill COVID. So like there's a whole list of stuff that this stuff kills because I think they use this stuff for like you know veterinary kennels and for like hospitals and stuff like that so what made me really like it a lot is when I saw all the things it killed I was like holy cow so it got me even more excited so we started using it and then I also realized too that it's a great deodorizer so similar to like a whizzy wash it smells like a pool you know so with the kit that we got it came with this this wand here um that i'll go ahead and i'll put a few capsules in here right i take uh i think it says to put two in here i'll put two capsules in here and it has a regular wand and i'll use this wand to basically just spray down the area and i mean like don't get me wrong i love my whizzy wash but if i had to start over and I didn't have as many dogs, I probably would have definitely started with this, something like this first. It's cheaper. So what I'll do is I'll take like the finer setting and this is more like a pressure washer jet setting and I'll use this to break down, you know, the poop or whatever the case it may be. And then I can swap this off and then actually what I'll go ahead and do after that is, you know, put this bendable one, which is really nice if I need to get like a corner or an area or something like that. So that's what I really like. That's why I find myself using it more than my Wizzy Wash often is because of the fact that like it bends like this, so on and so forth. And then it has like a hose setting, which allows more water to come through and then you just rinse. So realistically, like I said, you only need to use like two tablets for this. And then basically after you clean the kennel, you wanna just sanitize and deodorize. So the capsules for me, usually last maybe like anywhere between five to 10 minutes. So I'm just spraying the entire area. Um, and once the capsules have dissolved, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm just hitting the entire area and you can just let it air dry. That's what makes it even better is you don't have to sit there and really, you know, um, make sure that you rinse it off or anything like that. Just let it air dry. And then you could let the dogs in the area or whatever the case it may be. So I'll use this. I can even spray this in the yard, you know, 
you can spray it in the yard and and what i'm finding is i'm actually even using this to spray over my kids playground stuff and trying to kill any kind of viruses or bacteria that may be like stray animals or wild animals that got into my yard or whatever the case may be so it doesn't harm you know my kid that's what i really like about this um so like I said, I'll do the kennels and then same thing for my indoor kennels every single day. I've been using it every single day and literally been hitting my indoor kennels. I let it sit for about five minutes. Um, and then at that point, I just let it air dry. You can let it air dry, um, you know, or after the five minutes, you can squeegee or whatever your kennel setup is. So because I have the bigger kennels, I'll use this. But what I really, really like that that's what this is what kind of makes it one up the Wizzy Wash in my opinion was when I started using the, the the mini sprayer that they have right so you drop one tablet in here and then you fill it up to the line with water now something you need to be mindful of is like this stuff is pretty pretty damn strong so there was points in times that I found myself spraying too much I started burning my eyes a little bit but it, that told me that it was working so um Anyway, I put one tablet in, let it dissolve, and then I go ahead and I'll use this and I just pull the trigger and it literally, you press the trigger once and I guess cause it's like battery operated, it just kills the entire area. It just keeps spraying, keeps, 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 keeps going. So the one thing you do need to be careful of is similar to that of like a Wizzy Wash, I find that it may stain the clothes if you get too much on your clothes. It's not as bad. Cause I mean, the other, uh, that was one thing I hated. My, my clothes would get so, so um bleached but with this it's not as bad and like i said it's it's you can <laughs> you'll be able to smell and tell that it's definitely doing what it needs to do on the area so like i said it's perfect because it makes my cleaning easier before i would use like you know a disinfectant and a deodorizer and i was spending so much money you know i was i think i was spending about 150 dollars a month on just you know sanitizing and deodorizers and autobahn and things like that now with this, it's just a one and done kind of thing. It, it kills the viruses as well as it makes it smell a little bit better. It'll make it smell like a pool. So like I said, for the drop cages, I'll use something like this and I'll just spray, you know, let it sit for like five minutes and then go ahead and like wipe. Um, and that's what I've been using. I mean, I tell you what, since I've been using a similar setup to this, I was using Wizzy Wash and now I'm incorporating the clean guard setup. I mean, <sighs> it's probably been a few years at least a year or two since um i've had anything as far as like pathogens and viruses that have been affecting my dog so which is a pretty great track record so i just wanted to share this with you guys real quick i think this is useful i think it's helpful like i said i use it outside i use it on my indoor the key thing though is the stuff is pretty strong so you want to make sure that if you're doing it indoors that you have proper ventilation um but yeah this stuff is great I'm going to put the link as to where you can get it down below. I think it's one of those things that the easier you make your cleanups, the easier you make your setups, the more time you have to enjoy with your dogs. And I'm a huge advocate for that. So like I said, I'll use this for like the outdoor setups or the bigger kennels that I have. I'll use this for the smaller kennels, which is great. Cause like I said, there was no product similar to like a whizzy wash that you could use like more so like indoors. So that's, what's really cool about this. Um, and then it comes with other little attachments and things that you can use. So yet again, I have plenty of video here showing, I mean, we, we've been using it every single day and I absolutely love it. So I hope this information is helpful guys. I hope it's useful. Um, this literally, I mean, if it saves one dog or one puppy from catching parvo, distemper, um, kennel cough, whatever the case may be, in my opinion, it paid for itself. And I've had, I'll give you another example real quick. Parvo, right? Wiped out a friend of mine's dog. He said, how could this have happened? I, the last time I had a dog that had Parvo was like a year ago. Well, what I found out is that Parvo can actually live in the ground for I think up to, an e up to a year, like in freezing degree weather. So even if it's freezing outside, the Parvo can still live in the ground and a dog can catch it months later. So unfortunately that's kind of what had happened to him. So that's why I think it's cool that you can just go ahead and sanitize your yard. And uh, like I said, after every five to 10 minutes, you'll want to throw like another tablet in. Um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think it's useful and helpful as far as if you can make your, your cleanups faster and easier, you can enjoy your dogs. So, and hey, 
Don't steal my idea, but I thought about, you could use this possibly to like sanitize yards. This is what I was thinking about, like sanitizing yards or school playgrounds or something like that and like charge a fee. That's honestly what I was thinking, um, <laughs> but I'm all over the place. So anyway, guys, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. I'm going to be doing more videos on this, you know, more episodes and so on and so forth. But I just wanted to show this to you guys because a lot of people have been asking me, they see on my Instagram story, they're like, what is that that you're using to disinfect and wash and clean your kennels? And I never gave a proper introduction. So I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of British Hacks. All right, guys.